Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about Damien Cryer and Love by Erica. They are back at it again. This reminds me so much of that McDonald's video that's going viral. When the woman wants the man to help take care of a child that he didn't make and they are not together anymore. But before I start talking, I'm going to say this is my opinion. I'm not hating on anyone. I am just speaking about what I am observing. That being said, I do want to say that I blame Mr. Cryer for leading Erica on. But she should have known better. If the man didn't sign your first son birth certificate, what makes you think he would sign a child that isn't his birth certificate? It just doesn't make sense. People are saying that Mr. Cry is mad because her other baby daddy came into the picture. But I don't think that is the case. They were mad before he came into the picture. Erica said they stopped talking when he dropped her off when she had the baby. So, this has nothing to do with the mucker coming back into Erica's child's life. Well, coming into Erica's child's life. I told you guys this was going to happen. I knew he wasn't going to sign the birth certificate. I felt like she had the baby, and I knew that Mucker would want to be in his child's life. Think about it, you guys. That would have been a stupid idea for Mr. Cryer to sign the birth certificate for a child that is not his, and the child has a father that wants to be in his life. Erica and Mr. Cryer can't get along for long periods of time. They always stop and start back talking. Y'all have to stop listening to these YouTubers and read between the lines. Everything always come out when someone is mad at someone. I feel like both of them are telling their truth. I believe that Damien was there for Erica, the unborn baby, and his own child. It seems like the minute he does something wrong, she goes to the internet. I'm looking at both sides. Have y'all thought about Damien's feelings as well? Here this man is helping a woman who has gotten pregnant by another man. Paying for the shots, feeding her, and putting out videos for content to help. Then all of a sudden, the baby has come. You realize this isn't my child. Because I believe he thought the baby could possibly be his son as well. Then he started thinking, I do not want this responsibility. If Mr. Cryer would have signed the birth certificate, Erica had the right to put him on child support for a kid that's not even his. Look at what they're doing now. Co-parenting is so freaking easy. Don't worry about what your ex is doing or who they're with. It's all about the child or the best interest of the child. With Erica, I feel her pain. Here she is on her third child. Nothing seems to be going right in her life behind closed doors. She has this man telling her, I'm here for you. I'm going to step up and be a father to your unborn child. Here she is believing this because he is helping her throughout the pregnancy. So she feels like maybe he has changed. I want to give this relationship a second chance. However, when it was time for action, Mr. Cryer changes his mind. I'm sure that really hurt at her, but don't try to withhold a child from seeing his dad. You need, to help. you need the help. Raising a newborn is very hard, especially when you don't have any help. The crying at night and everything. Erica is stressed out and I just hope she isn't going into PTSD because she is giving signs that she is. She can't sleep. She doesn't want to clean up. She is wearing the same clothes from the day before. This girl is super stressed out. So my advice to you, Erica, if your baby daddies want to get their children, let them. It doesn't matter if their wives or girlfriends are around or not. I'm sure the fathers are not going to let the girlfriends harm their child. Get your break. It takes two to tangle. There is no need to raise a child by yourself and they have a father living on earth that wants to help. Another thing is, you can't keep exposing people and expect good out of the situation. Yeah, it might bring you a lot of money, but it's hurting your good karma as well. Now, let's get into a few clips. Wait, before I get into this video, I want to say this. I feel like this all started about two weeks ago when Erica put up that post that said, shout out to all the single mamas. I feel like she was trying to throw shots at Mr. Cryer, acting as if he wasn't doing anything for his son. Then he made a video. Let's check this video out. Damien, are you actually dating yet? Let's just say this right here. I was getting very close. Very, 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 very close. 
because I know when Darian was here before, I was focused on other people and it just got really bad, man. And, and so it's like history, it's one of those things which you guys hear me say in multiple videos. History does one thing and one thing only. And it's very good at what it does. It just repeats itself over and over and over. And that's something that I'm trying to stay away from. So, nah, your boy is rolling solo. Um, I'm cool with that. Um, no stress, no mess, no BS. Um, I'm cool with it right now. Um, I think for the most part, I'm very content with my current situation. So he lets everyone know he's single and then Erica came out with a video. Regrets having a baby by a famous person. I wouldn't say I regret it. You mean like a, a person that's a, like a social media influencer that's well known, yes. Um, I wouldn't say that I regret it. But if I could turn back the hands of time, I would have definitely chosen a different route. I would turn back the hands of time. Attention to what they don't see. I'm pretty sure they will have several questions. Uh, I'm more so, uh, like I said, no regrets, but for my kids. Because my kids, I feel like, will never get a chance to um, experience what normal is if that makes sense experience like the true definition of certain things if that makes sense on my side yes on my side they will but i really can't say the same about like other sides how does it feel to not be accepted by dion's family so i guess when they when you're when you ask Dion's family, you're talking about his dad family. So she is saying her two youngest one doesn't get to have that family dynamic with their dad's side of the family. And with Damien's son or whatever, she goes where she is welcome. She doesn't care if she's accepted by them or not. You see, they are always taking jabs at each other. Here is a part of the latest video. Let me get it together because I have not said anything about Damien on here. If somebody asks me a question, I can answer it. I'm a grown ass fucking woman. Okay. I didn't say anything about your kids. Somebody asked me a question about feeling accepted. I quoted a Bible verse. Okay. I'm, I'm so fed up with YouTube. I have sat here plenty of days, like literally like I, I want to freaking delete my YouTube channel forever because I'm tired of it. The men that I have attracted in my life are full of Now sis, you know you're not going to delete that YouTube page and you're making all that easy money. I had my son June 4th, okay? My son had broke out on his face on both sides the third day he was here, which was the reason why I didn't post him. I was not hiding him. I told y'all she had the baby, but y'all didn't believe me. Most children break out in hives at the birth. Now, this man that calls himself hopping inside of somebody else's life to make me look bad, didn't tell y'all the truth. How he played me for months making it seem like he was going to be there, going to sign a birth certificate. Didn't do none of that, okay? Now, Erica is placing the anger on the wrong person. Mr. Cryer is not obligated to take care of the other kid, only his own. And I feel like she can't be mad at that. Just thank the man for what he has done during the pregnancy on some occasions because he didn't have to actually met his son yesterday and everything went fine and then i get on here and now the other baby daddy is showing his ass leave me alone you don't want me a part of your life when i decide to walk away then it's a problem leave me alone stop throwing jabs at me subliminals because you already know what people are gonna say leave me alone but what you're not doing is you're not telling people how you blame me for a car accident that I was in as if I told the freaking world, hey, God sent a car to hit me in the back. 
I was in the hospital three times back to back, guys. And this man made me feel like shit. Did I run to the internet snitching on him? No, I didn't. You want to know why? Because last time I did that, y'all dragged me. Everything that I do, you guys drag me. If I post a music video, you guys. That is so great that the mucker saw his son. On the other hand, it's not that people don't like Erica. It's just that her name brings views. And plus, we can see through some of the lies that she be telling. I feel like the last song was good. I just hate that she used a cuss word because it could have been a church song. Been with Dion ever since. I don't care what y'all think y'all see this man having Dion. It is not true. That man brought me home from the hospital the same day I had my son. And he came here to set up a, a bassinet, picked to argument, a uh, picked argument to leave. And I've been here by myself since the day I left the hospital. Split open, all of that. It was me by myself with Dion and a newborn. Do y'all not understand? Now that was wrong. He should have taken his son with him so she could get some rest. Been with Dion ever since. I don't care what y'all think y'all see this man having Dion. It is not true. That man brought me home from the hospital the same day I had my... Well, I think both of them are good parents. One minute Erica said she didn't keep crying from his child. And then the next minute she said he wouldn't be able to get the child when it was convenient for him. So basically, he would only be able to get to his son when she told him to. I think it's just a um, case of miscommunication. That both of them need to work out. And he came here to set up a, a bassinet, pick to argument, a pick argument to leave. And I've been here by myself since the day I left the hospital. Split open, all of that. It was me by myself with Dion and a newborn. Do y'all not understand? Once again, you cannot expect the man to help you when you just had a baby by someone else. I do believe that he picked an argument so he could leave because he didn't want to take care of the baby. I'm sure he wanted to tell you, but he was afraid to tell you. So he just started some drama. Get up, drag me and try to take me from me and my kids because you want me to keep coming to you for money. I'm independent. I don't need you. I do not need you. If I showed you guys what I made last month alone, still sick, throwing up and pregnant, it would blow y'all mind. And I did it by myself, and he wasn't even beside me. So stop it. A man will treat you like a dog when they know you need their help. Some of them do not want to see you succeed. They are happy knowing that you need them. However, let me tell you about a woman. When she gets on her feet and gets her money right, she will leave a man and never look back if he treated her wrong while she was down. And for all y'all in here telling me to stop, no, this needs to be said. This needs to be said. This is the second time I didn't had to get on here with this man. And the only reason why I had decided to even give him another chance on a friendship level is because he was acting like he was there, was going to be there for me when those other two people was acting the way that they was acting. Now we both look like idiots and they look like they over there winning. Like I'm. Do you know why they are winning? They are winning because. They don't take these things to the internet for the world to see. The only thing people are going to do is talk about it, and it's not in a good way. You guys are parents to a handsome child that y'all made together. Y'all don't have to be together, but y'all need to get it together for the sake of the child. Now let's take a look at what Mr. Cryer has to say. Listen, man. I've been sitting back chilling, minding my own business, staying the hell away from this chick. She goes from one baby dad to bashing him on YouTube with recordings, talking trash about this man and his woman. And I sat there and tried to support this chick, bro, because I knew what she was going through. I sat by her side and supported her from day one. Through the whole entire situation when she had her breakup when she had her breakup with this dude 
Me and my ex had our breakup around the same exact time, okay? We finna go all the way back, bro. So basically, they found comfort in each other. But she had her breakup with her baby's dad, her newborn son that she just had, June 4th, that I was there for. Matter of fact, y'all see that spot right there? This spot right here. Right here. This spot right here, my nigga. Let me tell y'all about this spot right here. One morning, she left my crib to go take her son to school, right? We're going to tell some truth today. She left my crib to take her son, Cam, to school. She had a bad car accident. Well, it wasn't a really bad car accident. It was a, it was a freaking fender bender, guy. It was a freaking fender bender. Now, he is letting it be known that it was just a fender bender. When they were saying it was a bad accident and it was a three-car pileup, do y'all see how people try to get pity from their audience? I don't think it's a good idea for Erica to come against Mr. Cry because he knows her very well. Both of them knows what each other has been lying about. And when they are mad at each other, someone spills the beans. Right now on YouTube, you guys already know what it is. Every time one of my family members come to Houston, she do the same exact thing. She's the reason why my son Darian wasn't allowed to come down here. She's the reason why my son wasn't allowed to come down here this year. It was her. She's the reason why. But she won't tell y'all about that, will she? Absolutely not. She's the reason why my child is not allowed to come to Houston for the shit that she told somebody else about my minor child. I think there is some truth to this. I don't know if she is the only child or not, but I think she is giving off spoiled vibes. She likes to have her way, and when something doesn't go her way, it's time for someone to get exposed. I'm not saying being spoiled is a bad thing, but she has control issues. I know because I am guilty of this myself. I feel like she had a problem with his son, his granddaughter, and the mucker oldest daughter. The reason why I say this is because she talked about mucker's daughter and him acting different when he was around her. She also talked about Mr. Cry acting different when he was around his granddaughter. You have to learn to control your emotions. Shit, trying to get sympathy from the audience, man. And you wonder why your views is trash. Why people don't want to do videos with you or work with you. I supported you through your music. Them fucking bullshit ass songs that you dropped. I supported that shit and paid for it. Out of my fucking cash app. Why don't you tell the truth? Tell the damn truth. I was the first one to buy your son. Oh wow, I definitely didn't know that he paid for the um, music. But that was good of him. But that is wrong for you to say it was trash. Now, let's talk about this. Back to the baby situation. I was there. I cut the umbilical cord. I got the pictures in my phone. I got the pictures from the car accident. I got the video from the hospital of her having a baby and delivering a baby. But for all, for all respect, I decided against her wishes not to upload the video until she uploaded her video of the baby. I know y'all saying who. If y'all don't know who it is, then she's irrelevant anyway. So I'm just saying, though. So now, this situation, let's fast forward to the day. About two weeks ago, I dropped my son D off at my, my son Dion off at all. This shit, she texted me the night before and said, yo, I want to talk to you about that conversation that me and you need to have. I said, what conversation about us getting back together? In all honesty, I believe she texted that because he had then sold this girl a dream. She has the YouTube audience telling her, you and Damien should get back together. Plus... She needs a little help handling three kids. In addition, in addition, Mr. Cryer told her he would help. In the back of her mind, she is thinking, maybe I should get back with him. Now, Mr. Cryer, he seems like the type of person to not practice what he preaches. He might say one thing in a moment, but the next thing you know, he is changing his mind about something. For example, he may tell Erica on a video, I want to be with you. We are going to get married. Then when the camera's cut off, he's like... I would just have to see what happens. Then a few days later, he says, I don't want to be with you. That's putting up a facade. That's giving Erica false hope. And it's giving, I don't want you, but I'm leaving the door open just in case I don't find anyone else. So when I got to her house to drop my son off that Sunday or Monday, I think it was, she came outside and we had words because I had dropped Dion off, right? We had words because I dropped my son off, right? I dropped my son off and when she came out, she was like, so can we have that conversation? I said, the answer to your question is no. I don't think our relationship is good for me and you to be fucking with each other. 
We haven't spoke since, guys. We haven't said a fucking word since. We have not talked once. This sounds like something he would say. So, I believe it. I believe he said that, and then Erica decided not to speak back with him. She decided not to answer his phone calls or whatever. Since Mr. Cryer seems to be very cocky, he decided not to blow up her phone. Now, we got this big situation going on that they could have avoided. They both have a big ego, but sometimes someone has to be the bigger person. The moral of the story is that you can't always get what you want. Sometimes you have to compromise for the sake of the children. I hope all ends well. I'm not on anybody's side. I'm just speaking my opinion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Until next time, bye-bye.